Welcome to Farthest Frontier. My name is Mike B. Have done one of these in a while. I've been trying to decide what I want to do with the show, but I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to tell you guys about a freaking pretty good city builder. Like a freaking pretty good city builder. All right now, first glance, some of you guys have been around for a while. You guys probably were like, oh, hold on a second, Mike B's already played Banished. It kind of looks like that. It does kind of look like that. This is this is true. It is still it is still a very different game. While it still is a city builder, while it still takes place, it's kind of like in the same time, kind of the same color palette, all that stuff. Uh, it does not share a lot of the same mechanics. And Banished, uh, we'll go over actually how it compares to a game like that because it is one of the most popular in the genre at this scale, I guess you could say, in this especially in this uh, time period. Um, so, or this aesthetic. So, this is a city I've been working on on stream. Uh, this one is, uh, we're like, what, year 56, 56 years in. Uh, we're running it at half speed right now, just so you guys can see, you know, how the city's just kind of operating. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. We have some stuff we need to do, uh, which is why we're running at half speed right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about just, you know, like, uh, what, what, what how the game functions, um, long term, right? Because we're like, uh... I don't know, 20 something hours into it or something like that. Um, so we, we were, I've been in this for, for a minute and there's, I still have many, many hours to go and I actually kind of want to start over. Um, and, uh, and just like now that I know everything, right? Or not everything, but I know so much. Uh, so this is over here. We started off basically this little small town center. This is your town center uh, here. Uh, you can, uh, it gives you some basic information. You can also click through and see professions uh, this is where you could assign uh, workers to different jobs at the top you have laborers laborers are basically just like free Roman people that will take care of things right just like tasks general tasks move and stuff or whatever uh, builders uh, builders will stock up to a certain maximum when you set that maximum sometimes they go over I don't know why uh, but if I set this thing down to let's say like five it might it might go through an honest from I'm guessing uh, buildings uh building uh, uh jobs that are not prioritized it'll uh, it'll take them out of that queue or of that uh, job assignment and put them over here now alternatively you know obviously we want to if we have 45 laborers because i just accepted a whole bunch of people uh let's get a lot of them building you can see now the number is jacked up to 21 so i have a lot of people uh that are going to be working on stuff um performance wise uh, this is where i'm at here it's not too bad um and can have little hiccups here and there i've been playing it for a while it is early access uh a lot of city builders get to this point because especially early on because they're packing in features they're packing in things they're optimizing and do all this stuff kind of on the way um but so far like it's pretty good like end zone came out and that was a, a good favorite of mine because it added kind of a uh, a little bit of a danger factor with uh, having uh, like raiders and all that stuff come through. This game takes it a step further in which the raiders actually like come in on foot and you have to have a militia on hand in order to uh, combat them. Um, and you know, you have like, you have guard towers, which I'll point those out over, oh, where I stick this one over here? Once you click one, you can see them all. Here we go. Um, oh, that's a fence. <laughs> Let's see, oh, come on, click. Dang it. Look out tower, oh, a deconstruction site. Oh yeah, I was gonna move that or something. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's not gonna show the other ones. Of course not. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know where I put my, uh, I hope they're still standing. Oh wait, is there rubble here? Ooh, I might have some rubble laying around somewhere. So uh, when you're attacked, uh, they will basically level a building and then, you know, you're just kind of like stuck with a pile of rubble and you can pay a certain amount in order to, uh, uh, to fix it. These buildings over here are condemned uh, because um, well, because of low living standards in this area. Uh, I don't want to start over here though. Let's go over here to this side. I have a couple of good towers here. I should just click on those ones to see if there's one over here. Oh, there's not one. Okay, so it was leveled. Dang! Man, those guys jacked me up, man. It was like 40 dudes or something. I was like 31 guys or something like that. But still, it's a lot. It's a lot. And we might get raided during this episode, but honestly, probably not because we're going kind of slow. Um, so, yeah, here's the towers of the circles of, uh, of influence. Uh, uh, and, you know, they have actual, like, you know, some of your little uh, minions in there. And they are armed. And they you, they armed with both melee and with ranged. You do manufacture those melee and ranged weapons over here at the... Uh, um, let me see. Not the, not the bakery. <laughs> oh, let's see. I probably moved it over here to this side. The tannery, yeah, this is where you get hides for the suits and everything. Weaver building, uh, they're making like shirts. Uh, see Fletcher Workshop, here you go. This is where they're making the business here. So this is where we get, um, yeah, crossbows, uh, regular bows, and then lots of arrows. We probably have a ton of arrows just in our resources, like in our bins somewhere. Uh, here's our list of everything. at yeah, 223 arrows. That's pretty good. So you you are stocking the ammunition for your defenses. You are providing them with crude melee weapons, yeah, with swords, uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, 
Uh, the oh, the sound is so good, by the way. Like the sound is so 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 good. Uh, music is great. It could be a little, you know, on the, you know, it's uh, a little sad at times, a little melancholy and such. Um, uh, not as bad as as like frost punk. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's it's still it's good. It's good music and the sound design is just superb. The weather sounds, man. Wait till it starts raining. Um, again. So let's see over here. This is uh, kind of like my industrial row here, and I, I recently moved a lot of this stuff, so some of it. That's why I'm clicking a lot. And also, there's no way to like see uh, all of the different buildings and uh, building names and all that. Uh, I was hoping for something like you know, either on, on mouse over or maybe hold down Alt, like in ARPGs, we could see all the loot on the ground. It'd be nice to be able to hold down Alt in order to see that. There are already uh, are overlays that you can click on, like F3. There's a pull up all the people's names and also what they're doing. Very, very handy, but could get a little bit cluttered at times. You have a whole lot of things going on like this, uh, and especially when you're running at full speed, which is like this, right? Uh, but if you want to follow somebody, see what they're doing, like this guy here. So this is Fang. He's wandering, unable to work. So he's basically doing not shit. Uh, but he also has worn linen clothes and his worn, worn hide clothes. So those are starting to wear out. Um, broken baskets. He has bat. Well, I don't really have the materials to make baskets. I have to import them. Um, by the way, yeah, there is that, which is pretty rad. Uh, what is this being blinking in the corner over here? Housing shortage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We're going to take care of that. Anyway, so Fang's not able to work because there's just not enough jobs for him. If we look at the people, the people assigner here, you can see that everything, like each one is an arborist. So basically two out of two because that's all I have. So you can click on them. You can go to the person. So you can see what they're doing. Uh, and then I can unassign them or assign them. Uh, but it's maximum two because that's the maximum the building is going to hold, right? Uh, I could put a bunch more people into uh, these soldiers. Oh, soldiers are turned off. I wonder if that building has been... Uh, was that building leveled? I don't think so. Let me see. I got some saves here. Here we go. Uh, 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 this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So this is part of the reason why there's uh, nobody... Uh, where there's so many laborers kind of floating around. So I'm actually going to go ahead and fill this up because they need time to... Um, no, it's, there we go. Boom. Um, yeah, they, they need time to go and get armor and, and all that stuff. So they're going to go run around. You'll see this is idle, and then they'll start updating, and it'll say, like, what they're doing. It's going to speed things up. Seeking weapons. There you go. Garrisoning. So this person probably already had a weapon. He did, actually. He, does, he doesn't have a sword, though. So uh, Nero here, Nero the second, does not have a sword. So and they'll tell you right there, which is great. Um, these people are unhappy. Uh, this is a metric that you're going to have to manage. and But not all the time does it make a lot of sense, honestly. So this person's unhappy. If I go to hover over to see what stats are, you know, uh, uh, hurt by this oh, it's clothes okay fair enough fair enough man wants clothes <laughs> uh beer beer is something that is not always uh in um he's getting food and everything okay maybe we'll pick up something he likes cleanliness jeez uh beer is not something that they're always concerned with and you can see that when we go over to our like people people pleaser chart here uh, and it says, uh, let me see right here, beer. Yeah, your villagers aren't concerned about this yet. And I think that might have something to do with the fact that we don't have any or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure entirely why. Sometimes it'll flicker on and it'll show. And then it'll flicker right off again. So, I don't know, strange behavior. Could be early access stuff. Honestly, clothes. Some of your villagers are forced to wear worn out clothes. So you see they're unhappy and it contributes to the scale here. Uh, work rate. So they're good. They're happy about this. You can hover over and it gives you some information. Um, let me see. Doesn't it? I thought it did. Uh, well, down here it tells you at least. Let's see birth rates. Say luxury. Your villagers are unhappy due to lack, uh, due to lack of luxury items. Villagers could use some more entertainment venues in town. Uh, so that was like an immediate uh, uh, hurt. I had this right here. I need what? I need clay. I need thirty clay. I have thirty clay somewhere around here. The top bar here. Um, but anyways, yeah. So this building was destroyed by uh, by raiders, uh, and so that Im that immediately. Brought down the, the happiness level of this entire neighborhood uh, and I'm gonna show you this because there are a handful of overlays and every good city builder has a bunch of overlays and we want to turn off the uh, uh, the uh, yeah there we go turn off the names uh, there's also F4 which will show you the quantities and the type of things that are all scattered around you could tell send your harvesters out there to get these things or whatever um, basic by the way basic gathering of things is by hitting H and then it'll, you'll go through and gather like stone bushes berries trees etc um, it does seem like it is it, it sometimes it feels like it's slow like we had Fang sitting over there and he had nothing to do right it was like well hold on a second like all these trees are marked for being cleared why does he have nothing to do? It probably has something to do with the fact they don't have enough tools for everybody or something. There's probably something in the chain that's broken. I just haven't found it yet when it comes to having people like moving in and out of positions so often, which I do have that. Um, anyway, so get back to this to show the overlays here. I hit on G. This is desirability. This is the number that you want to get up. Anything under 30 is bad. They'll start to get upset and eventually they will leave. 
That's at one of these three buildings here that are sitting under 30%. Um, and everything else you can see is like 35, 30, 45. And now there are tiers to this. So if I click on this here, we see like, how do we get to the next, uh, let me see, where is it at next tier? Um, let me see, I need to have, yeah, here we go. My location desirability bonus needs to be from 47% to 65%. So let's go to my neighborhood over here. This is my first neighborhood. These guys I think are pretty well off. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of houses right here that are 72% desirability. And what happens is um, they will, uh, there is there is an option to upgrade uh, once you get to a certain level, then you can upgrade the house. You can see here, this is at 72% out of 85%. This is a large house. If I click over here at the 57% desirability, this one is a homestead. And I believe it's because it does not meet the recommend the uh, requirements in order to be upgraded to, so, uh, to the next tier. Uh, and then when you start off, it's like a shack, right? I and mean, if we go look over here at uh, Squiddle 2, let's see, boop, boop. Uh, that's, oh, that is a homestead, actually. I think when you put them down, they're not homesteads, though. They're just like... Uh, let me see. Yeah, they're shelters. Yep. So, so as you build up the desirability, uh, then you will also build up the uh, uh, the, the the rank of it. A sip of water, man. How have you guys been, man? Hope everyone's been doing good. I'm just doing like news and like other other bullshit, and I'm trying to catch up with everything. Need to do more of these though, man. I do like these. Just the long form thing doesn't always work, you know? Like for some reason people don't like it. But games like this, we kind of have to do it. We kind of have to do it. We can't really edit this down. It's too much information. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna jump all over it. All right, excuse me. So, uh, let me see. Gosh, there's so many things here. But man, it's just, this, I, you got you have to know like what you're getting into because there's a lot of stuff here. Um, and uh, you need to know if it's worth your money. It's $29.99. So it's it's on the it's it's on the bit of the high end for indie games, but it's definitely not on the high end for um, uh, for games in this uh, in the genre. It's kind of like in that in the realm, right? $24.99 to $29.99. Um, is there even like one that's not like AAA that's $34.99 or above? I wonder if there is. Um, not that it really matters, honestly. Anyway, so uh, so happiness level. Speaking of desirability, if we go over here where the industrial row is, we have I showed you guys earlier. We have weaver buildings. We have tanneries. We have uh, that's a wagon. We have like a storehouse or the wagon shop. Uh, see a potter building. We have brickyard. Whoosh. We have a foundry. Those are the sounds. It's so great. See blacksmith's forge, uh, stockyard. We see a brewery. Uh, charcoal kiln. That's just a brewery. It's not like the breweries we have in like California where you also drink there. It's not like that. The brewery actually ends up sending all this shit over here. Wee to the bar, which is right here. Uh, and it is says what? Not providing entertainment. Yeah, it's not providing. I wonder why it's not providing entertainment though. Like, is it just because people aren't? No, it's not making any sense. They got beers. Hmm. I wonder if it's uh. No proximity wise, I think it's fine. I mean, here it is. So somebody's going in, right? Oh, okay. Now you're leaving. What's up, man? What you doing? See, he's garrison. Oh, he's a guard. Oh, he went to probably check on it. How about you? You going in for a drink? Let's see. Lorelli. Going in for a drink. There you go. Okay, you're entertaining. What the hell? Are you are you a guard too? Hold on. Lorelli. Oh, you're a guard also. Okay. Well, check this out. Something something that you really need to know is that you can micro your your uh, your individual uh, characters if you need to. You can also micro groups of them. So this comes in extraordinarily handy when you are trying to. Uh, uh, manage a raid or something and you have guys coming in let's say instead of just you know sending an entire group to one spot you can split it up and you can micro them that way you cannot save groups though this is an RTS <laughs> you can't save groups yet though right I mean yeah maybe maybe they'll add a little bit more there or something by the way this is about to go up so remember these numbers here desirability 34 percent 34 right 27 percent uh, and then we'll come back over here to this side which is where everybody's unhappy There's a little bit of a bug there here let me see um yeah, sometimes the, 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 these things disappear. Uh, but there's no houses over here, so you wouldn't see it, duh. Um, let me see. Well, if I try to build a house over here, it'll probably tell me. Let me see. Shelter. Let me see. There, location desirability. Minus 55%. How, how low can you go, huh? Let me see. Minus 61%. Ooh, yeah. Minus 81%. Like, what would happen is I would build the house, somebody would move in, and they would, like, move out, like, immediately. I, I bet. They, and they would actually uh, desert. They would desert the entire encampment. Um, and uh, take resources with them. It's kind of a pain in the ass. You can't like chase them down and shoot them, which kind of sucks, you know? Treasonous bastards. <laughs> so anyways, um, because you know what happens, they go and they join all the raiders, they come back, man. We've seen it happen. No, they don't do that. Although that would be rad in the future if people that abandon actually show up as named raiders. Oh god, that'd be amazing. Anyways, it's about to be done here. Let's watch this in real time. Tick, 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 boom. Oh man, look at that. Instant gratification. 
I mean, it took a long time to rebuild that because, you know, we were, we got really jacked on our, uh, when we got raided. Um, oh man, there's a little bit of terraforming. You see this street right down here that's kind of like, uh, more like a bank turn to get from one street to the other? Uh, <laughs> that's really steep, man. Uh, but they'll use it. This is the result of me flattening a space up here so I could put these houses, uh, and you could see where I've kind of like painted down here, right? And they come down and they do a lot of work, they'll like tap, 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 all that stuff in order to get it um, uh, about as flat as possible. But, but you have to do it more than one time to really get a good solid effect out of it. They don't just, unfortunately, they don't just uh, make it insta flat, they just kind of, you know, smooth out some of the bump mapping just a little bit for you. So, <clears throat> over here, farmland. Well, this is super important. This is how you get your food. And um, this is also the part that is a little bit more complex than I thought it would be initially. You know, it's not just like click on a field or crop and then choose the crop that you're going to put in it, right? So you click on it and you actually have crop rotations. You have to manage the fertility, the weed level, the rockiness, the mixture here. So this one's getting a little on the high side here. So I'll probably just add a little bit of clay, just a tiny little bit, because it's probably going to move a little bit on its own as well. Uh, and then you assign what you want think, what you want to happen here over, uh, over like three year cycles. And so like, for example, I have clover growing here because clover raises the fertility. Not a ton, but it raises it a little bit. Um, so run that for basically twice, twice uh, during this year, and then uh, and then another one over here just to keep that fertility level from dipping too far. When I'm getting uh, what is this buckwheat, uh, carrots, and turnips. Uh, now I'm changing this thing constantly, constantly changing this. So like to say like here is like okay, let me go get rid of these guys. You know we have our fertil fertility is a little whack, but we could probably come down here and find something that maybe doesn't need a lot of fertility. So right there, so look at this list here. I can't move my mouse over there, but you can see it. Uh, all the different uh, uh, bar graphs here, and you can see fertility dependence at the very bottom. So we want to find something that is low on fertility dependence uh, that we could plant. So this is why, yeah, see, this is why buckwheat's so good because it doesn't really care. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, anything that's like no fertility dependence, basically. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, perfect peas. We could plant peas. Uh, peas do really good in frost, but like terrible in uh, in heat, as you can see there. So what we could probably do is put this at the beginning of the year, so they'll plant it right away when it's still kind of cool, and then they'll come around, and then uh, and, and then they'll they'll, they'll 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 hack it up, and um, we can put something else there that has maybe a better heat tolerance like this. So, right, so right away we could turn around and throw some buckwheat in there if we wanted to, because it also has low impact on uh, or low fertility dependence, right? So this is probably a pretty good setup. So peas, buckwheat, then carrots, buckwheat. We need carrots and turnips for our farm, which I'll go show you in a second also. Um, and so that's the way it works. Each one has their own rotation and you get little alerts that'll pop up and they'll tell you whenever things are going wrong or whenever, uh, you know, the, maybe the soil's bad or whatever, something will happen, low crop yields, uh, for whatever reason, you can go and inspect it. Uh, and speaking of, yeah, it tells you right here, estimated yield, you click on this, and you can see, you know, the previous springs, you can see all the different uh, things that are that you're planting. So you can say flax, right? The flax, how's flax doing? Flax is doing, uh, see, 34% fertility. Uh, we planted, we only got a third. Uh, that's, that sucks also. Uh, we go to rye, we could see 33% also. So we're at, uh, uh, but this is a better harvest though. So that's good. Um, so we could we could drill down and see how each plant is doing. So there's a lot of data here, right? Like there's enough data here for sure. Um, it's definitely a different kind of. It's built different from a game like Banished. It still looks. It kind of has an aesthetic and everything, and you you're kind of doing. You're kind of trying to achieve the same thing here, but um, uh, but it is it is definitely a very different uh, 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 beast in the in the uh, uh, in the UI here. So let me see. We'll go back to resources here so you can see this. Um, uh, we can, uh, uh, you can see there's like there's quite a few things you can build. So you have uh, produced materials here. You have your your food, your usable items, uh, raw materials. Like this is like the, we have honey because we have an apiary. Apiary, I think it's called. Uh, we have basically beehives <clears throat> sitting out here. And uh, and they also have, just like the desirability bonus, right? If you build like a beehive, let's see food production. And then we say, uh, let me see this guy here. That's a smokehouse. Let's see fishing shack. What boy? So where is the dang? Where's the arborist building? Is that what it was? No, it's the best of the trees. Let me see fishing shack. Man, I don't know where these things are. I've been playing this game for so long here. Um, although that's weird though. See, is that is that a resource? Maybe. Uh, maybe it is apiary. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, cool. My bad. So let me see. So here's we already have the one here. Uh, so yeah, it's nice. You click on one, you can see all of them. Uh, but you can see that it gets has a honey bonus, right? So this is 44 percent. I mean, we it kind of move it around. We get a better bonus depending on what's in the area, and you can see. Like the the bright yellow here, basically saying that oh, because there's a garden here or there's a park, they're gonna benefit the most. But if I put it like right here or somewhere in this area versus putting it, I mean, this is great. Wow, look at that. 
Is that on a road? I mean, gosh, even if it was, I don't care. That's pretty good. 63%. Let's throw it in there. There you go. Let's find another one. Because honey's good. I mean, honey, we could turn around and sell if we need to. Uh, oh, yeah. There's lots of stuff. Whoa! Look at the numbers on that. Dang. Let me see. 76%. And they could use some honey on this side. And this is also going to employ some people, too. Right? Yay. Let's go ahead and speed things up here because we need to build some houses. Uh, oh, I guess not. Oh, you know why? Because those houses opened up. Look at that. They uncondemned themselves. And if the, the freaking theater was down for like a second, man. It was down for like a second. They're like, no, we're out. Guess what? We're going to... Jesus, man. It's babies. Uh, I see. Building can be upgraded. Okay, so wait. This is the top, top wood, right? Yes, they are. How are we doing wood? Firewood? Good. Uh, I see. They're just splitting and we have plenty. I don't know if we have enough on this side. Let me check the stores here. Let's see. Wagon shop. I know you guys probably have a lot of questions, by the way. So feel free to ask them in, in the comments and I'll happily ask answer them for you. Uh, I'm trying to get like cram as much as I can here. Do a brain dump for y'all. But uh, I know I'll probably miss something. So feel free. Please ask something. Uh, let me see. Storehouse here. I have no clay. It's all oh, no, no clay. Actually, I might not have any clay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, so we were looking for what? We were looking to see if they had firewood uh, kind of sitting around somewhere. They have 390 produced last year. They had to go somewhere. Uh, probably in a storehouse here. Let me see. Mm. No firewood there. We need a firewood. Mm. They're, they're busy, right? I mean, let me see. 390? Yeah, they have wood coming in. If I upgrade, what do I get? Let me see. Uh, increase. Okay, so item speed. Okay, so they make more. This is not, this is really kind of a nothing burger problem. Like, it's not really that big of an issue. Oh, the rat catcher, too. What a great sound. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> the rat catcher, we have to have them up around, like, certain stores and areas where we, we keep, like, you know, food, uh, food supplies. Uh, we have a school here, of course. You educate. They, they perform better, all that. Uh, this guy's planning a lesson. Can't heal. 71 years old. Wow, he's making it, man. He's making it. Most, most, most people live to be about about that about 70 to, to 78 somewhere around there i don't think i've had any 80 year olds yet but i think with my quality of life just continues to improve then maybe they, they get to be older or something uh looking at the market here uh just to show you a couple things because you see these barrels kind of floating around i have somebody a cooper that is making barrels um and the barrels just increase uh, the more barrels you have they increase the uh or decrease the spoil rate and you want that obviously right and and the way it works is it's just it's not really necessarily like how many items you have in the inventory versus how many barrels you have like you're stuffing them or something it's just like a flat percentage uh on it you see villagers stuck with influenza don't worry about it, it happens all the time uh <laughs> let's see but they also have 57 uh, produced wood okay so that would make sense there's look if there's 154 now everywhere and there's 57 in here uh the other market probably also has uh, let me see some wood sitting there it does okay cool so i think maybe we should probably go ahead and, and, and upgrade this it's gonna take a while for them to get to it and we have another one over here too we could probably go ahead and tell it's upgrade um they're producing which is great but if we get like a fat amount of uh of, uh, of logs in which you know every once in a while the the, the villagers will just decide they're gonna start chopping all the trees i've been telling them to chop <laughs> forever um and so yeah here we go let me go get these carved out too there we go predator decided oh here we go finally you guys get some action all right before they before it's dead already all right here we go so we got a bear that's chasing who chasing can't heals oh can't heals he's the uh oh well we have more than one can't heals now the game has a, uh, uh, basically has a list that it pulls from after you edit one. It'll continue to bring more people in. So you see he's already getting jacked up by the, uh, yeah, we're going to turn on the, let me see, here we go. Uh, the, uh, the tower over here, which has a superb range, actually. Oh, that was great. And now it's going to leave this area. It's going to go into the next area. It's going to get, it's going to get jacked here, though. Let me see. We'll speed things up. Let me see. Who's going to, who's going to be the one? Where's the shot coming from? From the left? Oh, is he not in the ring? Is there some? Whoa, 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 whoa! Do we got a problem here? Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, he's not. He's not in that circle. What the heck? Okay, jeez. Okay, he's about to hit me. Okay, okay, okay. He's definitely going down now. One, two. And he's rushing. He's rushing. He's rushing. Oh, he's gonna attack the building. Minus forty-five health. Don't worry, they have lots of health. All right? Let me see. Uh, how much health does it have? Oh yeah, look at that nice little chunk. So somebody is gonna have to come over here and fix this. Uh, <laughs> there is building, there is building, uh, maintenance and all that, so you, someone's got to come over here and take care of that. Uh, over here in the fish, with the fish, uh, I forgot to show this, but, um, this is basically a, you plop down a fish, and then you can move the fishing hole. So, if you want to adjust it, look at that little pop-up at the bottom, middle of the screen here, right here. 
and you can see that depending on where I put it, I get a different yield. So that's pretty good. I get the I get a couple of those little buoy markers here, extra on both ends here. Food stocks are low. Don't worry, they go low and then they go back up and they go low. Blah 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 blah. Uh, but but what we should do is go and check on the compost over here. This was run by one of the community members, Red. You can see him right there. Oh, sorry, it was run by Red for like 70 years. Uh, he shoveled shit for. Uh, and that's where she's going right now. Go to collect shit, <laughs> and uh, and served us well. I've been naming a lot of a lot of these uh, characters that come in, especially the ones that are born after just people in chat and everything, just for fun. And uh, and it's kind of funny, you know, it's funny shit like that happens all the time. Like, oh shit, here comes Top, or here comes you know Mr. Banana. Uh, this thing is full. We can take a look and see why it's full. That's always important because they have gold in there. See, that's a problem. Now, uh, I can't tell it to move gold. You don't have that degree or that level of precise control over inventory. What I have to do is, um, what well, I think just wait. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know what I could do to, I can't, like, actually move it. I've already deselected it. Uh, there's no priority, like, some, and maybe some will be added later, but sometimes what they do is when you have stocks, uh, stock storehouses that are kind of within range of each other, if you prioritize one over the other, then they will move items from one to the other. Oxygen included does this, and I believe Banish might have something similar. I'm not sure. Um, I think Endzone does this though. Anyway, so it is. Uh, yeah, this is this thing's holding a whole lot of gold. It's going to be a target. I have a vault over here, which is where all that gold is supposed to go. And there's plenty of room. Like Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Let's go and speed things up here. Uh, I'm going to get you guys to the next season so that we can um, uh, so I can show you guys uh, the the market here, or the trade center. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here, guys. Uh, gosh, we have a mine over here that's going. Let me see what's in there. Let's go into the 437 iron, and I have I set this up and I, I move these buildings a little bit closer. You can move them and it costs you nothing, which is great. So you're you're effectively as long as you have the manpower, the laborers, you can just move shit all the time. <laughs> so over here, uh, yeah, they're 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 mining and then they're coming over here and they're dropping it off in the storehouse, uh, or the socket rather. And then over here, the blacksmith's picking it up and probably forging some shit, or maybe somebody will be, I don't know, they're just, there we go. The foundry's over here making some bars, uh, and making gold, by the way. And we have two foundries, one that's only doing gold, and one that's only doing, um, where's the other one at? Let's see, yellow, I think it's over here. I want to say it's, we moved it so that, oh, did we not finish that job? Oh, we might not have finished that job. No way. I have gold, so it must be doing, uh, let me see. Oh, do I have iron, though? Let me see, R, resource, hmm, I have a lot of ore, oh, I have iron, yeah, yeah, I have iron, what the heck, you're making it a zero and one, you control the ratio, which is sick, by the way, um, so basically, this is converting the gold that I'm mining, and it's just turning it directly into money, which is great, you can, though, sell unhealthy life, so, oh, oh, forgot to tell them the farm, that's right, unhealthy, oh, shit, oh, across the board, huh, okay, why? Um, they're usually pretty good at telling you this stuff. We see, your lifestyle goes hungry and haven't eaten. Status is reduced by 75%. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, it's just a food issue. Um, and they, they eat, uh, basically, like, uh, turnips and carrots and stuff like that. Um, is there a... See, to sale milking slaughter herd size. We're gonna leave that. Sec grazing. Is there nothing? There's nothing to eat over here. Oh, we well also like yeah, we're coming into the new season. You can see the snow already melted off, which is beautiful. Uh, let's go and close all this. You're number 57. Hey, all right. So what's nice is you actually see when like the merchants are coming into town, um, and a lot of games do this, but you know it's just a nice touch instead of they just kind of like just you know pops up or something uh, like an event. And also when people want to um, uh, want to move into your town, like migrate to your town. They will also uh, be seen running up. Like right before the right before I started recording this, I had uh, a whole group of people wearing the same clothes running into my town center, and I was like, "What the fuck are these guys doing? <laughs> Where's my security? What's going on?" <laughs> uh, lightning, ooh, good sounds, good sounds. Well, while we wait for the uh, for the first caravan to come in, <clears throat> let me see. No, nothing. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the, the resources that I have. I have 1,500 golds uh, in stock right now. I'm actually going to move a little bit more gold over. Let me see. Uh, because I have a feeling we're going to be buying some uh, like turnips or something. Some fish or something to feed the uh, the farm. Um, so just with typhoid. Now, one thing I need, I want to do, and I've been doing a little bit of research and watching videos and everything like that, is like is to move the cows uh, and, and just click on set graze. You can set the area, right? And just put them in, um, like, over a farm or something, you know? Just let them graze all over this mess. They seem to, they seem, well, I, I thought that was a good idea. Let me see, how does that work? 
Mm, oh gosh, maybe not. Man, okay. Okay. I swear, but I guess not. Yeah, it's the bushes and everything highlighted, yellow. It's nice that they just show you the stuff that works and that doesn't, so that my stupid idea doesn't uh, backfire because, you know, there's no information there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I guess we can plant some more stuff in here. Maybe they'll be a little happier just uh, with some local local eats, local kind grinds. So over here, we transfer things to the inventory internally, right? So I have 500 uh, uh, meat, smoked meat. I have 150 fish. So if I need to dump a lot of food, if we need food, I could get food, right? Um, we have, uh, yeah, we have, you know, some hide coats, 200 hide coats. So we have stuff. We have honey, you know? Um, now this person's coming to market, so we're probably delivering the gold. Oh, this is excellent. Okay, so here's what's happening. Uh, this guy just went to, uh, to the, here, this warehouse I was just bitching about. That's gold literally laying on the fucking ground out here. Jesus Christ, guys. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it's emptied out some of the gold there to bring it in. So, we'll probably see him, uh, I think this highlight yellow for the person is, is kind of new. I'm not sure. Uh, I think we'll probably see him, uh, dump that and then maybe go back if I were to add. Let me see. We're going to, like, increase that some. Let's go and... Do, 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 do. Let's see what happens here. So he's gonna take off. Yeah, so he's not touching the uh, the vault. Here comes one of our traders here. A little bit of a glitchy animation. They kind of the rear end kind of dips into the ground. It's kind of funny. Come on in. Come on in. It'll pop right up. Do, 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 do. There we go. We'll pause right there because they only stay for so long. And you might need to move some stuff in if it's an emergency. So check this out. This guy is selling firewood. We have, we have lots of logs. You see what I'm talking about? Like now all of a sudden they're chopping wood. Uh, we have some gold. Let me see. They they are selling. Let me see. Down here. Well, they're buying. Let's go to their buying. Let me see. So they're buying pottery. And they're buying it for above average prices. This is excellent. Uh, I have it already in stock. I get to send it to them, and then boom, that's done. Now, you do need pottery locally, right? Because you're going to need it for, like, upgrade housings and all that stuff, right? Counts as, like, a furniture item or something. Um, let me see. This one's flowers, so there's over three. So I get 1,500 gold here, uh, and then I could get a fuck ton of gold here. Let me just go and sell this. Let me see. 3,000 gold. Well, okay. Okay, there's a limit because he only has 1,600 gold. So let's go ahead and just take him for everything he has. And there we go. Let me see, there's something else I want to sell him instead. Nah, this is fine. So we'll sell that. Boom. Got us all of his money. Then we can turn around and we can buy some stuff we wanted to. Like, he's, he is selling wood for cheap. Granted, I have a lot, but he is kind of selling for cheap. So let's go ahead and grab some of this. I might just grab all of it, actually. Let's go ahead and buy. Uh, we'll buy and transfer. So now we're, like, super good on wood for a long time. Uh, and then, now that he has money, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell him some more. Let me see, drag this over, sell him some more pottery, he's gonna sell that, there we go. Oh, oh, no, no, a little bit too much. There we go, bud. See, wheeling and dealing, man, wheeling and dealing. I walk out with all the money, walks out with some good some good goods, and then we're done. Let me see what else he have. Uh, smoked meat, no, I'm good. And he's got some hides for cheap. Hides are relatively cheap. Let's see, far below average, yeah, this might be a good one to pick up too. Let me see. Oh, yeah, let's buy all of it, buy, buy and transfer. Amazing, amazing, this is the most purchase I've done. Look at this, cheap soap. Dang, cheap soap. These dudes are always bitching about soap. Jesus, get, get that out of here. <laughs> cheap shoes? No, I'm not, I'm not down for no cheap shoes. Uh, let me see. So he's got 2,000 gold now. Should we sell him some more? Uh, let me see. Oh, I'm out. Oh, well, we got 10 more. Okay, bam. So some of that. Let me see what else he wants to buy. Buy some of this stuff. Yeah, sure. Some flour. Totally. Sell that. This is great because there's another one coming in. We're going to speed this up here because we don't have to really worry about moving stuff around. Um... And then, let me see, the smoked meat, no, good. They got cheese, which, you know, might be a good idea to hold the cheese. Hmm, it's cheap. Let me go and grab it, because I'm not making any cheese right now. So let me go and grab, we'll buy and transfer that. Food stock's low. Here's some cheese, bitch, shut up. Uh, so there should be another trader coming in. We already sped, sped things up, and so I'll try to keep an eye out for this. Now, some of the complaints about the game uh, is, like, so the notifications are pretty weak. Like, even though there's a lot of notifications over here, sometimes it's hard, it's hard to know when, if special events, like when somebody shows up. Like, you don't know until, unless this has changed recently and I missed it, but uh, until uh, you happen to see that there's a little icon above this, you know? So there's certain things that I feel like with all of these tooltips over here and pop-ups, that should be one of them. Okay, so somebody's here. Uh, and again, that might have changed. Maybe I just haven't noticed yet uh, because, you know, they, they're putting out updates uh, relatively often. Uh, let me see. Um, I mean, it's only been off for like a week, but, you know, they've like two updates since, I think. Uh, so this person's not here yet. I'm pulling up. There it is. So, uh, let me see, the cheese we just bought, they're buying it back. <laughs> uh, they have swords that they would like to sell us, but it costs a lot, so I'm gonna pass on that. Although we do need them. It's kind of a need for our militia. Let me see, they are, so they're not really buying anything that we have. Um, oh, they have this armor? Dang, look at this, plate mail armor? Jeez. 
And then let me see, they're selling flour back for under what we paid for it, what we got for it. But no, I think I, I think I'm good. Uh, let me see, wheat, no good. Uh, those beers, but preserves. Oh, God, I was gonna build one of those things. Uh, and bricks, clay bricks, we're good. Mm. Yeah, no, I think I don't think we're gonna buy anything. Uh, this is like one of my favorite parts of the game. You know, it's like you, you're sitting here, and you're like you're buying and selling, you're, you're wheeling and dealing. Somebody just pulled up. Someone just pulled up. Building's on fire. Oh God, building's on fire. Well, hold on a second. Don't worry about that. I usually put them out on time if there's a well nearby. Where's the well? Oh no. Oh, it's don't tell me it's way over here. Basic well. Oh my God, it's so far away. Oh my God, it's so far away. Uh, village attacked by predator. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's fine. They'll, they'll get it. Okay, they got it. Awesome. There usually no issues with uh, uh, with that, but you know what? Oh, there's one right there. Okay, I missed it. Jeez. Yeah, it would be really nice if we had like an alt key or something like that so we could see uh, who is, uh, 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 what building is which. Okay, so this guy's leaving the uh, Masuki the Silver Tongue. You get a kind of, you get like the same like rotation of like four peddlers to come back and forth. Um, let me see this guy, new guy, and he is buying and selling for underpriced. I have 829 logs now. Boy, I'm just a log master, boy. <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, so, let's see. Buying, buying, buying. Buy some clay, actually, for under, uh, under price. So we could try and make some bricks out of that. Some sand. Is it sand? Oh, I have sand. Oh shoot. <laughs> I have sand. What the hell? Oh, I did buy some sand uh, recently. Okay, so we're gonna go and pull this down. We're gonna buy him out for everything that he has, um, because we can use it. So we'll buy and transfer. And then uh, I have nothing I can sell him to make some money back. So that's fine though. That's good. I'll take it. Nice. Hey, that was a really good marketing season. Uh, really, really happy about that. Map size is, uh, it, it depends on when you set it up. Uh, I've already explored out to the edges of my map. Unfortunately, it's, it's, there's no like mini map to click around or any kind of any further zoom than this. But they're getting a lot of complaints about that. So I'm sure they'll probably bring it in. You can see there's all kinds of stuff out here. I sent militia out here wandering around. Uh, just looking to see if I can find some resources. There are maps that don't have certain resources. This one happens to be the second hardest map because of the resources that are available to it. Um, and so, uh, and so sometimes, yeah, this is the way some of these maps will work. Like you'll have, you know, uh, X and Y resource, but you won't have A and B resource. And so you have to go and take like a different tech tree almost, right? Or you just won't really, not necessarily tech tree, but you won't have a, uh, um, like in my case, I have a basket weaver, a basket shop that is basically closed, condemned because there, is, there are no willow, willow uh, plants anywhere on this map that I've seen so far. And as it turns out, it, more than likely there are not any willow uh, available to me uh, on this map. So I can only get it when I import it in from some of these traders. And, and they very rarely sell it, unfortunately. Um, baskets just help them so they can carry more stuff while they're moving around. And that's pretty much it. These other wagons, these are mine. Uh, they're just hauling stuff for me. Uh, you can see that audience transfer last year. She moved 30 logs, 51 iron ore, stone. This is great. She's probably just going back and forth through here, just zigzagging around this little highway we built over here. Man, let me tell you, I love this game. Like, uh, I, I, I'm going through and I'm just like rattling off everything that I could think about, I think of as we're going here. Um, and it just really makes me appreciate, you know, like kind of where this game's at in, in early access, you know? Um, this is what, this is a large stock, yeah, large stockyard here. Let's go ahead and upgrade one of these wells here, because I mean, it's probably pretty cheap. It's probably pretty worth it. Let me see, what do we get? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. I don't care what the uh, what the uh, <laughs> what it is. I'm sure it's good. Uh, let me see. And this one over here too. Upgrade that guy. And then there was a. I'm gonna click on this to get the other ones. Will show me. No, it does not. Okay, it's fine. Um, there you are. Yeah, we'll upgrade you as well. Village of our predator. Uh, I usually ignore these honestly because. Ooh, dang, Malima. Village died of old age. Oh, oh, it's Nitsut. Oh no, the laborer Nitsut, 73 years, man. This is another. This is another homie from the from the view from from chat. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've been with me since the beginning, almost, man. You know, it is kind of is it kind of cool. You you get you get those kinds of like little mini stories and connections and people that have been working in certain positions for so long. Like I said, Eric Red, the compost guy, right? Well, that's a tough job. It's a it's a shitty fucking job, right? It really is. This is going to call it what it is. Uh, and uh, that person did it forever. You know, it's just a little bit of RP, but that's what we love about these games is that we develop these you know kind of these minute connections to each one of these little characters that are running around, um, and we get to watch them grow and. All that stuff. Now, that being said, it's not like Banished where you can put two people in a house and they're gonna make babies. In this case, a baby just kind of shows up like a stork or something, and then you'll find that some of your houses are now occupied by three or four people. 
not necessarily any kind of mix or anything that, that makes sense sometimes. Uh, like sometimes there'll be like three adults and then one kid. Okay, well then like, you know, who whose baby is it? <laughs> so it, there's no lineage here or anything like that. So you don't get those kinds of like, um, uh, like th those kinds of stories. It's like, oh, and this person came and you know, that, that was, they were descended on that person. So I put them in that job, right? You don't get those kinds of stories out of this. And it's, you know, it's okay. You know, like I don't necessarily mind that. There's so many layers of stuff you could go down anyways. I mean, kind of person here come on come on buddy come on buddy come on there we go jeez uh you get you get some uh some idea you know their ailments their happiness level this is pretty much your, your best connection to each individual person the, the deepest connection you can have um from a statistics uh point of view that was beautiful look at that thing flying over um i've never seen that actually or maybe i just never noticed uh, anyways yeah this is where you're gonna you're gonna make the, the best connection and impact on these individuals uh their lives otherwise they're pretty much just pawns you know, this npc is kind of running around doing stuff um, over here we have a problem. What is that? We can hover over. It says no stones in range for this work camp. So what we're going to do is then click on this, and then we're going to tell them to go somewhere else. Go find some stones over here. There we go. And then they'll path over here to get back home and all that stuff. So yeah, there you go. So I got a wall being built right now because uh, the raiders were so good. At the beginning of the stream, actually, I think it was down here. Now they're over here. Pretty good, pretty good. We should probably buy some stone the next time we get a... Uh, uh, the next time we get a trader in. A villager's died of old age. Oh, who's died now? Oh, Fisherman Hanya. I don't know who that is. All right. Uh, but we should probably check to see if we have uh, any openings anywhere. We sure do. Uh-oh. Fish type of predator. It's fine. They'll live. Uh, although, rabies is a thing. Rabies is a thing. So keep that in mind. And it strikes at any time. They'll just, they'll just die. <laughs> just just kind of like rabies. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Kaba shop. She's making shoes. She made 18 shoes last year, and this is important stuff, right? You got to be able to see this detail and everything. Oh, there's even more. I forgot about this. This is like the best part. Yeah, this is where you can see your your uh, your total, your big numbers. This is your PNL for your uh, for your entire map here. And every every city builder pretty much has something like this. This report will only show you the last 12 months. It doesn't store anything beyond that. Um, which is which is you know kind, kind of a shame. <laughs> I kind of like the drill. I think auction lets you drill back like pretty far. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so you can see and you can drill down. So protein, you can see what kind of protein: fish, smoked fish, meat, smoked meat, eggs. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at all this stuff. So you could go and you could see like the impacts that uh, each individual item is having on your you know uh, uh, um, uh, uh, on your on your uh, encampment on your uh, in your colony. So like root ve vegetables, for example. So root vegetables, those are the things that oh I forgot to buy those vegetables for the for the farm. That's ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> root vegetables. Uh, we can see that we've reduced 344. We consume 911 or uh, 900 or so and spoil 200 and something. There's a number of ways that we can increase or decrease the uh, the rate of spoilage. Uh, like I showed you, there's already the barrels, the storehouses themselves we upgraded. Uh, like storehouse here. Um, this one I don't think it gets a buff to the uh, storage capacity. Reduce. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, let's go into it. Uh, as a matter of fact, all of them should probably be done, honestly. I can't afford it. I need to stop being a cheap ass and just do it. It takes time, but worth. Sake, we get here. Uh, increased durability, increased storage capacity. Uh, we're not really reaching capacity, so I'm not worried about that one. And the durability, yeah, they can't they can't come down and mess up somebody's house uh, or building. Why is this guy want arrows? Miss, missing range of reach kind of possible. Oh, it's a hunter cabin. Oh, yes, of course, of course, of course. Uh, I see better item recipes and increased durability. Mm -mm, I can always move that thing. Livestock animal born. See, they're not doing so bad. We have zero food. Hmm, interesting. Everybody's unhappy. Ooh, maybe we could kill them off. Uh, no, no, no. I know right now. When they, when you kill them off, they uh, nothing really happens. Um, the game just keeps on going. So die eighty percent. So they're all happy, right? So let's see. Da, 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 food. Okay. So this is this is where this comes into play. Did I sell all my food yet? Uh, I did not. We have food in in our inventory. Let me see. Here's meat at five hundred. So let's go and transfer this back to the colony. I will transfer the whole thing. Uh, we have some money and we're making money over here. So this is these are two different banks, by the way. Uh, your trade center has twelve hundred bucks. Your your oh your 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 bank has twenty three eighty. So these are two different uh, uh pots basically. Let me see. So we're gonna get the, uh, that food out, and you'll see that number is gonna start to go up probably really fast. Uh, and then people's unhappiness will probably start going away. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, here's the smoke meat. Uh, yearly taxes collected. Yeah, why you guys are starving? Why don't you go ahead and uh, <laughs> pay your taxes? Uh, let's see, cholera. Okay, there's a cholera. I think. Let me see cholera. Let's see, we can see what they're doing. She's going to go to the yeah seeking medicine. She's going to the doctor here. Did you just infect this person, or is this person also infected? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this a pandemic like happening right in front of me? No way. <laughs> 
Well, thankfully, there's a ton of beds in here. Yeah, they're all in there. Let me see. Yeah, there's a ton of beds in here. There's more. Um, jeez. Let me see. We got two months now of food. Excellent. They were fine. Oh, there's somebody here. Trader. Oh, shoot. Trader's here. Hold on a second. You want to buy something? You want to sell me some fish? You want to sell me some fish? For cheap? Yeah, I'll take that fish. Let me see. Da, 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 da. No buy and transfer. There we go. All right, now we're good. Rattle would work here. Remember, we're making, we're literally making our own gold. We're smelting our own gold here, right? We're, we're forging our own gold, whatever. Ah, uh, gold ingots. And you get again, you can see it on display probably. <laughs> right here. Oh, man. All right, so a lot, you guys probably have a lot of questions. And, and you know, I wish uh, I, I, I wish that we were live right now and you guys were all here watching at the same time. But that's not how it works. It's YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, watch this. And then, you know, if you have a question, ask below. I'd be more than happy to answer uh, for you. The game is called Farthest Frontier. Uh, we could be here all day just going over like little things and everything and showing you all the little details and all that stuff. I think you guys have seen enough. Uh, total number of people that I've killed so far is 68. That's just the ones that... No, I think it might be all of them. I don't think anybody really gets like vaporized or anything or dis body disappears. Uh, even if they're attacked by a bear. Yeah, the bear doesn't take the body. Shame. Uh, so anyways, game is $29.99. It is a survival city builder. Uh, what, what sets it apart is that there's a, a, you get attacked, you know? And you while you did not see that here, unfortunately, um, uh, it, it does happen. And when it does happen, it does it does kick you into like RTS mode almost. You're just kind of running around trying to get everything uh, uh, in order and trying to keep your men alive and all that. And over here, yeah, this is my, my barracks basically just waiting for the uh, opportunity to uh, slash to smack now some raiders, although they've been uh, not doing too good recently. So that's it. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'm going to see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.